Hi, I'm James from Portainer, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new features in version 2.12 of Portainer Business Edition. First off, I'll talk about the GitOps engine we've implemented in Portainer and how you can use it to help automate your deployments. Then I'll cover the new API access tokens feature, as well as our newly added support for AWS ECR registries. Finally, I'll show you some of the new Edge Compute features in 2.12, including OpenAMT and FDO support, and of course, how you can get BE 2.12 for yourself. You might have heard the term GitOps, but aren't quite sure what it means. Where DevOps is about adding automation to your app deployment processes, GitOps does the same thing, but for your infrastructure. This means you can quickly and reliably deploy your app configuration using config stored in a Git repository. Think of it as infrastructure as code. If your app has been deployed from a Git repository, you can simply change the configuration in that repository, and Portainer will do the rest. Let's say, for example, uh, you released a new version of a container image. You would update the tag in your manifest, commit the change to Git, then sit back and watch as Portainer automatically detects the change in your manifest, pulls the new image, and updates your running deployment. This all happens in Portainer itself, no additional software to install or maintain on your clusters. Because Portainer is cross-platform, this functionality is available for whatever environment you're running, Docker, Swarm, or Kubernetes. In the business edition of Portainer, you can do even more with GitOps. You can choose to force redeployment from Git, which overrides the running deployment with what's defined in the Git repo, as well as set a change window, restricting automatic updates to a window of time you define. In 2.12, you can also set whether to perform a pull of the latest version of an image when redeploying, which is handy if you're using a recurring tag, for example. Version 2.12 brings API access tokens to Portainer Business Edition after making their debut in the Community Edition. API access tokens are per-user tokens used to authenticate with Portainer's API, giving the user API access to Portainer's functionality, but still restricting the user to the access they're allowed to have. The Portainer API is perfect for integrating Portainer's power and flexibility into your existing automation setups. API access tokens are meant to provide a better alternative to the JWT authentication method for API access and are easier to create, maintain and revoke, all doable through the Portainer UI. For a while now, we've supported adding external registries to Portainer, including Docker Hub, Key.io, ProGet, Azure, GitLab and more. In 2.12, AWS Elastic Container Registry, or ECR, joins that list. You can now add your ECR registry to Portainer, letting you deploy using its images as well as browse the registry itself directly from within Portainer. We've made a ton of fixes and improvements to our Edge Compute features in 2.12, with two of the most exciting being support for Intel's OpenAMT and FDO technologies. OpenAMT lets you remotely manage supported physical devices directly from Portainer, letting you start, stop and restart the device itself, as well as remotely access the device as if you were physically in front of it. If you've ever had to drive to a site to fix an offline device, you'll understand how useful this can be, especially when you've got hundreds or even thousands of Edge devices in many different locations. The FDO, or FIDO Device Onboard Protocol, lets you create and deploy a device profile to remote bare metal edge devices, letting you automate the configuration of the device from scratch exactly as you need it, without even having to touch it. In BE 2.12, you can do this directly from Portainer. 2.12 also adds the ability for edge stacks to access environment variables set on the device itself, which is handy if you need devices to act differently depending on where they physically are, for example. Under the hood, we've made many other improvements to Edge Compute, including changes to improve disk performance on Edge devices, as well as bug fixes. As always, you can find the full list of these in our release notes, link is in the description. So you've heard all about what's new in 2.12, and want to get it installed, great. If you're doing a fresh install of Portainer on your environment, take a look at our install guide at install.portainer.io. This will guide you through what you need to run Portainer and show you how to install it. If you're already using Portainer Business Edition, you can check out the upgrade guide in our documentation. If you're currently running Portainer Community Edition and want to upgrade to Business Edition, we've got instructions for you too in our documentation. 
Cortana Business Edition does require a license to activate, but if you don't have one already, you can sign up for a free forever five node license on our website. Links to all of the above are in the video description. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been able to show you what's new in Portainer Business Edition 2.12. If you do have any questions or would like more information on anything I've talked about here, please check out our documentation or get in touch with us.